Hello and welcome to the Beyond Overeating podcast by Wholesome Lifestyle Project. My name is Estelle, binge and overeating recovery specialist, and I'm excited to have you here. I'm currently preparing my monthly webinar on how to manage food urges and cravings, and I thought this tied in well with today's episode. You can find out more about my monthly webinars if you ever want to join and catch the replays at webinar.wholesomelifestyleproject. I recently chatted to an amazing woman who was successful in her career. She just felt like everything was going well for her. But when it came to food, she just felt like she was kind of losing it. <laughs> she felt like she had a handle on everything else in her life, her um, career, her family, her finances. But she just couldn't get her eating right. And she didn't understand why she kept going back into the same patterns of binge eating. And we often feel so overwhelmed and powerless when it comes to uh, food and when we lose that handle on food and we feel like we keep throwing ourselves back into that self-sabotage loop. And it took me so many years to figure out what cause binge eating and I honestly as I mentioned before in episode one I blamed food for so many years and I always looked back at food and because of my narrow mindset of just looking at one thing I I missed actually one big obvious step and that's what I'll be sharing with you today in today's episode so get comfortable and let's get straight into it Welcome to Beyond Overeating by Wholesome Lifestyle Project, the overeating podcast where I'll be showing up weekly to share with you what I've learned during my binge eating recovery, helpful tools such as yoga, mindfulness, and energy medicine. My name is Stell, and my purpose is to inform and ed educate so that you can fast track your recovery in healing your relationship with food and finally trust yourself around the peanut butter jar. Join me as I share top tips, my struggles and triumphs to help inspire or just entertain. Remember, there's nothing wrong with you if you can't stop overeating. That's why I'm here to guide you along the way. So for many years, I thought food tempted me into binge eating, but a binge is actually caused by an urge. An urge is this uncontrollable desire and drive to eat and it will do anything in its power to make sure that you eat without that urge there is no binge and when I realized that it was like a light bulb just went on in my mind so the part of the brain that's responsible for an urge is called the hypothalamus and this is sometimes called the lizard brain or the animal brain, lower brain. And my, my clients and I have lovingly started referring to this brain as the food zombie brain. Now, the hypothalamus controls hunger, body temperature, thirsts, fatigue, sleep. And it's our a primal selfish kind of part of the brain that wants to make sure that we survive. It's almost like a little kid that will stomp its little feet until it gets what it wants. And it wants to binge eat because its main job is to keep us alive and it hates discipline and it hates feeling uncomfortable. So the more we understand that part of the brain, the more we can actually start understanding why we keep going back so automatically into overeating. Now, your food zombie brain will rationalize with you. It will tell you things like, well, you know, you've kind of already eaten that one cookie. You know, you might as well finish the pack because we need to start again tomorrow. Or I just need to get over today. It's just been so hard. A binge will make me feel better. And you might not use the word binge. You'll just be like, oh, I just need to eat something to feel better. Or it might say, this, this day is ruined. 
you might as well finish that Oreo sleeve so you don't have to be tempted tomorrow. Not so healthy. One more handful won't hurt, right? And this is called the urge. So what actually causes an urge in the first place? Why do we have these urges to eat and where, where did it come from? So there are three reasons why you feel the urge to eat. And I've categorized them as three, because, uh, three general broad reasons. The number one reason is actually hunger. Now, hunger, you guys, is something that actually trips up so many people. Hunger comes from either restricting your food, forgetting to eat, or sometimes our meals are not nutritious enough. So if you've been chronically dieting or, or forgetting to eat your meals because you're so overwhelmed and busy during the day, um, your body needs food and lots of it. And this is when we start noticing that if we get too hungry during the day, we often can't stop eating once we start, right? So this will create an urge to eat. If we keep hung hungry, our body thinks, hell, we, and, um, we're going to starve to death. And the brain says, well, I'm going to trigger an urge to eat because I want to survive. So the hypothalamus um, thinks that the body is facing starvation when we uh, prolong hunger for very, uh, long periods of time, and it will create that urge to eat. The purpose of the hypothalamus is to keep us alive and regulate all our systems. And it need, knows our cells need food and energy to, to, um, to do its thing. And that's why it will generate that urge to eat, especially when it thinks we are starving. So the more we restrict our calories, whether it's intentional or not, uh, our food aid, um, and food intake, the more urgent that urge will be and the more it will become. So restricting calories is 90% of the causes of eating disordered and disordered eating. So it is such a massive foundation. Next, we have emotional factors. So if you're not listened to episode two, I recommend going back to listen to why guilt triggers more binge eating. Now, guilt is an emotion and emotions can feel really uncomfortable in the body. And our food zombie brain prefers to feel pleasure over pain. And often we will seek food instead of dealing with the emotional situation. This temporary pleasure of food provides uh, us um, just serves as pretty much a distraction from what we are really feeling. And the emotional experience can bring on urges to binge all the time. And I see this um, so often. I've just spoken to a client recently and she says to me, Estelle, I'm fine. I'm fine until the emotions hit. And then I just cannot stop eating. And I have no idea how to stop that. Well, that is an emotional urge triggered by your body just hate being so uncomfortable. And the last one is something that we've kind of created a behavioral pattern around. And these urges are caused around habits. So once we have dealt with hunger and emotions by means of a binge somewhere in your life, our brain is convinced that binge eating is the answer. Binge eating is the solution. We get those endorphins from that binge, makes us feel better. It distracts us from what's going on. So we'll, we'll continue binge eating as a solution to that problem. So every time you are hungry, you will binge. Every time you feel an emotion, you will binge. As if you've ever felt an emotion or felt um, kind of tired at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, that might be your brain solution to bring on a binge because, oh, well, 3 p.m., I feel tired, time to binge. Now, this might sound silly, but that's how the mind and the brain works. So these are the top three reasons as to why you binge and what's keeping you stuck in that binge guilt cycle that I spoke to you about in episode two is the actual urge. 
So the more we can start recognizing the urge, the more we can work on it. So you can find out more about this by downloading my Quit Binge Eating for Good guide by going to quit dot wholesome lifestyle project.com or listen out for our future episodes on how to start managing urges i can't wait to see you in the next episode where i'll be sharing some of the drivers behind overeating talk to you soon bye Thank you so much for joining me today and don't forget to share this with all your friends. You can do this by adding this to your Instagram story and tagging me at Wholesome Lifestyle Project or by simply telling them about it. If you could rate and review on whatever platform you are listening, this will go a long way in helping me get this podcast out there so that I can share my message and help as many women out there struggling with food issues as I can. Don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram on Wholesome Lifestyle Project or connect with me on LinkedIn. My name is Estelle Heath and that's where you'll find me on LinkedIn. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.